That's not a new window. We pulled the air conditioner out. We try and pull it out once a year to clean it, usually right before the worst of the dry season. This thing's running about five years old. Cover starting to get a little rusty. Not a big deal. Um, we did pull this blade guard off to wash everything. It goes back on. We're gonna let it dry thoroughly for a few hours out here in the sun because we don't want to accidentally plug it in wet. Do this about once a year. These things will last damn near forever as long as they don't get a leak. I didn't get any pictures of before because it was really nasty. There's only one drain hole way up underneath the evaporator and always it plugs up and then the water is like two inches deep. So the fan blades, you can hear the fans splashing in the water. It's really bad. So we went ahead and gave up and I drilled. This area is not supposed to have water in it at all, but we drilled drain holes in it because it's always about an inch and a half deep of snot. Over here by the evaporator, I also added one small hole here. This area does normally fill up with water and always get stopped up because way up underneath here, kind of underneath the motor, up under here somewhere, way at the bottom is one drain hole. And it doesn't sit right. The hole was never cut exactly right. And as soon as it plugs up, there's no help for it. Well, it's been out here for a couple hours. I think it's all properly dried. We're going to put it all back together. And, of course, every day is laundry day. We've got the air conditioner back in. Now, I have shown this many times. This is our timer. You can set the timer, and it will switch between the air conditioner or a plug, which we have a fan plugged into this. So in the middle of the night, the air con can turn off, the fan turns on. It's a cool switch. It saves you a crap ton of money if you use it. I've gotten kind of spoiled by my air conditioning and have mostly quit using it. I just turn it on and leave it on. Cost extra, but I don't care. Air conditioner does have a weird little cardboard vent. It looks ghetto, but it blows the air properly because this thing's not faced the right way and it kind of blows past the bed. So that's just that's a little piece of ductwork to make it blow towards my pillow so I can sleep better because uh, I need to hibernate. It's running much better. It's blowing so much colder, so much stronger. And the weird noise of it splashing through the water has stopped because this thing fills up with water. Hopefully the drain holes will work. We will find out soon. The coils are never very dirty because it's got this filter and I do wash it every month. So the coils actually don't get dirty. It's just the bottom fills up with kind of this snot layer and it gets really gross. So pull it out and clean it once a year. You'll save a bunch of money and it will work better. Okay. Okay, the air conditioner is clean. Like I said, I do that once a year, save a lot on electricity, makes it run better, last longer. I recommend you do it. It's very easy. Just hose. If you can't fix it with a water hose, you need a new one. They're not worth fixing, but cleaning is a good thing. Now, on to more important things that are near and dear, this side, near and dear to my heart. Tacos. Yeah, it's Taco Tuesday. I don't know what day this is that I'm filming it. I don't know what day it is that I cooked them. Doesn't matter if you're making tacos, it's always Taco Tuesday. When I first got here, there were no tortillas. I had a wooden tortilla press custom made. Later, I had a small metal press shipped from Texas. And flour tortillas are difficult because they get stretched differently, so you really need to roll them by hand anyway. The tortilla press is for corn. 
everyone now sells flour tortillas here. You can buy them at Robinson's, you can buy them at SNR, and the flour tortillas are good for breakfast tacos, little chicken wraps, what have you. But when you want a real taco, you gotta have corn tortillas. You just do. And nobody sells them here. Well, SNR has some frozen ones. But frozen ones never work right. They kind of stick together. They don't ever puff up. They're just not fresh. And in Texas, we never would have thought of making our own because we had so many tortillas that made wonderful tortillas. We could get super fresh, hot, you know, fresh tortillas and use them right away. Here I have to make my own, and they're so easy. It's just so simple if you can get the cornmeal, which I do from the US. Now SNR sells it, but I've still got 10 pounds that I shipped from the US. Um, made me some tortillas, used my press to press them out. It's really easy. Um, spiced up some meat real nice. On my little taco bar, it is, what is it? Lettuce and tomatoes and cheese and fresh cilantro from the yard because you can't buy it at the grocery stores here. They just don't have it. And for some reason I decided to chop up some chicharron. I just had a little bit so I broke them up to sprinkle in there for some extra crunch. And it was kind of nice. So the tacos turned out very well. Yeah, the air conditioner is working, but who cares? I got tacos. Life is good. By the way, if you stuck around to the end of this ridiculously boring and pointless video, I should tell you to follow me on TikTok. And since I've only been on it for a week, and it's mostly like for kids, I'm sure none of you are following me. But it's good for short form videos, like 15 second, you know, little, just little clips. So I've been playing with it with some like special effects. So I'm gonna sh put one up here, right here. It's a 15 second video of my wife and I taking a walk across a couple of buildings. And the neighbors are looking at us funny as we film this in the yard with our green screen. But hey, that's what it's all about. So you can come over there if you wanna see stupid videos. There are some high school girls like shaking their ass. I'm not gonna make those videos unless you really want me to. No, I'm not. But Mikey Bustos is over there too. He's putting up a bunch of good stuff. There's actually a lot of fun videos there. And as soon as all the grown-ups show up, the kids will go somewhere else. And I don't care because it's a fun platform for short videos. So if you want to check that out, come on over. And um, I need more tacos. I made shepherd's pie yesterday. That was good. Now I need tacos again. Another fun-filled day. Enjoy your day in paradise.